Guys, I don't know what to tell you. I've been replaced. Now, you guys might be wondering who I'm actually referring to when I say I've been replaced. Yeah, no, you're wrong. That's right, you are wrong. It is not him. It's not him. It's not, no, it's not him either. Optic Z Laner, Optic Formal, Optic Hitch or bitch, whatever way you want to pronounce it, and Optic Bobby Poff decided to take themselves into the podcast on the Optic Gaming YouTube channel and analyze gameplay. That's right, the hypocritical bunch of Optic Gaming Warzone content creators and pros decided to sit there and analyze gameplay after stating multiple times in the past that it can't be done that way. After stating in the past what I do on this channel is wrong. I sit there, I analyse gameplay, I ask questions, are they cheating, are they not cheating, is this aimbot, is this wall hack? But what you are about to witness in today's video is in fact Optic Z Laner, Optic Bobby Poff, Optic Formal and the big bitch man Optic Hitch analysing gameplay. This guy better be crazy. Oh, oh yeah, he's hacked. Oh. Oh, he's hacked. <laughs> And then he's shooting the body. And then he's shooting the body. So at first, they started analysing the gameplay, and you can see clearly that the videos they are analysing are in fact footage from console. This was the big red marker straight away. Are these guys are oblivious to the fact that the footage they're watching and analysing for cheats is console footage. You remember this? When the FAL was just nuts on Groundly? Yeah. yeah. You go to Superstore and this thing was everywhere. Man. Oh man. I don't think he's cheating. I, think, I don't think. I, think I want to see the second I kill just, again. I think they're horrible and he's turned. He's turned and and the, the they're all just looking at the pistol. Yeah, I don't like, think I mean, that was that. Can we watch that one more time? I want to. The second kill looked weird because it looked like he wasn't even hit. Man. And then we have to pay attention to the fact that every time somebody else sat there brings up what they think might be a suspicious moment, Zed Lena has an excuse for it. Well, we didn't see the clip up to that point, or maybe. Maybe just maybe they're forgetting how good the sound was back in the dance. And they'll see like if you go back to the very God. beginning when the guy those just look like over, bots, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's just slaying bots. Dude, so I think but, like this guy here cheating before though, in like I, a different clip. Are people trying to call out the cheats like him running up right here around the corner and just knowing that guy's in that corner? But like they're also playing the clip from that moment. Yeah, you're not showing. He's, he's only got ten before. kills too, so he doesn't have that many kills. Nothing no about the spectating. Cool Nothing about this clip. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if that was very suspicious. These guys are just horrible. All of the excuses the Zed Laner has ever used when it comes to people accusing him or analyzing his gameplay for cheats, he's had all of these excuses pile up for a very long time. And he's had them all running in this podcast. He was using everything he possibly could to almost downplay any accusations against clips. You have to think of it this way. What if one of the guys there was adamant something looked like cheats, but in fact it replicated something the said laner does very often in his own gameplay. And then you have to look at it from the other side. And this is something we have touched on in the past. So let's take a trip down memory lane. Every single time you see a large content creator reacting to cheaters in Warzone, it is always a rage hacker. They wouldn't sit there and react to somebody who's using soft aimbot or very good at using their walls whilst masking it, whilst hiding their cheats. No. In fact, these guys will only really talk about cheaters like that if in fact they slip up and show their wall hacks or cheat menu on stream. They keep quiet otherwise and they will only do react content to people who are in fact using rage hack settings for example one of the most viewed videos on zed laner's own youtube channel is in fact him analyzing gameplay of a rage hacker in call of duty warzone Watch this shit. Wow. only headshots on both of us i'm spectating this guy right now he's 21 yeah yeah and he should have he should have probably about the same as his teammate you know what i mean like like you can always tell who's a hacker too. I always tell this to my chat by their movement and like, like, yeah, yeah. like, the, uh, you know what a good. No, I'm not saying good players can't use hacks. Good players use hacks for sure. Some people do, but most of the time, most hackers are shit players. And you'll notice by their movement. You'll yeah, notice yeah. by their like. Look at the, look at what is this guy's loadout? Yeah, like, what, yeah. what is he what using? Is he even, like, what is he rigging the place? Yeah, why is he rigging the place to C4s? And he's got twenty. You're telling me this guy sits in the here with the C4s like this? And he's got twenty one kills. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then you have the more swag YouTube channel and he literally reacts to rage hackers. J God reacts to rage hackers, Tim the Tatman reacts to rage hackers, and so on and so on and so on. These guys will only show you what rage hacks look like. Why? 
Why are they analysing bots versus rage hackers or legit players versus rage hackers? Why are they not looking at the gameplay that is in fact suspicious without cheats on show? That's not what they want you to see. They want you to have this misunderstanding that you are either like this or like this. You are either cheating or you are not. Okay, there is that smooth vein bot hidden wall hack area where people can look legit unless you look deeper and slow the footage down and zoom in and see the patterns that are emerging due to the third party software running in the background. But they didn't look into that at the Optic podcast where they analyzed the gameplay. The best part of this for me is the fact that these guys have dissed everything we have done as a community on this channel. For the past two you know, years. there's an entire uh, Reddit. Have you seen that Reddit? It's called Streamers Caught Cheating. You know, I've been staying away from Reddit ever uh. since the season last year. <laughs> Is it all just like 10 viewers? It's just viewer? a cesspool of just fucking <laughs> people arguing and yelling through their keyboards. It's so weird. Have you seen that, Matt? Dude, is it just like 10 viewer or like like low view streams no. that are getting caught or no. is it like someone with like 150 no it's not no, they're, it's, accusing. They're, they're accusing people oh, it was like a clip i of, thought you meant they were there catching was a, people. there was a clip of merc there was a clip of uh of priesta and of it's merc? just of merc yeah and it's joey's just like cheating. it's just like them shooting like joey d's cheating just like, like good shots on. yeah it's just like them shooting and then they're like, and then they, they slow it down to like 0.5% and they look at like how their recoil works. And uh, they're like, it's the dumbest dude, thing I've ever like, seen. Like, yeah. I like, think they're so smart. Yep. Zlander at it again. If you go to minute 326 and slow the kill down to 0.25, the aimbot is so snappy and stops exactly in the enemy. Watch the crosshair. It's painfully obvious he's cheating. If your favorite streamers are not on Windows 11 by next month, they might just be hiding something. <laughs> Only to find themselves sitting there doing exactly that against people who they don't know. Footage they've never seen before on their own podcast. Optic Zlaner we're talking about more specifically although optic hitch has got involved a couple of times on social media he's really just a fallen off nobody who pretty much no one remembers but optic z laner to sit there and do such a thing is definitely hypocritical the optic hex to allow this to happen has opened optic up for something that is just going to be a shitstorm guys the original video they put out, the comment section is gold. There are so many people in there calling Zedlane a hypocrite and dissing him for the gameplay that he puts out. It's good to see that people are actually listening. Whether or not they come to this channel and talk in my comment section about it doesn't bother me. I'm happy that people are actually talking about it in general, which is good. But for having them sitting there analyzing gameplay the way they did is very bare minimum. They are just looking at the gameplay in its full speed they're not slowing it down they're not analyzing it thoroughly they have not got cheat footage to compare it to they don't have the knowledge of cheats to compare it to do they or maybe they do maybe zed laner fully understands exactly how the cheats work and that's why he can sit there and analyze the gameplay hmm? which is it he's either somebody who hasn't got a clue how cheats work or somebody who's fully clued up on how they work and he knows exactly what he's talking about but to have them sit there after mocking what we do and other channels do for the past two years and to do exactly that on their own channel is an absolute hypocritical shit show. But guys, if you enjoyed this video today, believe me when I say this, you are definitely going to enjoy this one here. Go and check it out. Thank you.